I'd like to address a couple comments that I've been seeing quite frequently recently. The first of which, I've noticed you guys are asking a lot to see how I prepare the food that I catch because I do try and eat as much off the land as I can while I'm on the road. Oh, got him! Oh, yeah! Headshot! What a rush! It also seems that you guys have noticed that I eat almost no vegetables, so today is the first episode of Eating What We Find, Vegetable Edition. This right here, this is bullwhip kelp. And with the exception of the holdfast, which is the piece on the bottom that grabs the rocks, it is 100% edible as is. You can eat it raw, you can boil it, you can fry it. In my case, I don't have a refrigerator in the motorhome unless I'm plugged in. So I'm actually gonna be pickling this. Welcome to the Moho Cooking Show. I am happy to have you guys here. Let's start off by talking about some ingredients. Keep in mind, I am a very basic eater, so today is gonna be a very basic recipe. First off is your vegetable of choice. For us today, that is going to be kelp, but you can use this recipe for any vegetable. Next, you'll need vinegar, and finally, salt. You can use either pickling salt or kosher salt. I went for pickling just because it's a little bit cheaper. I'm also gonna be adding some garlic and some crushed chili peppers. If you guys like more flavor, by all means, add whatever you want in here. I just keep it really basic. First, let's start by preparing our kelp. We're gonna wash everything in nice fresh water to get it good and clean. And then we're gonna start cutting the kelp into small sections that are about a quarter of an inch thick. Let's jump right into our pickling juice here. And that's what makes this recipe so easy because you wanna do equal parts vinegar and water. And since we're in a motorhome and everything is smaller like my pots and pans, I'm just gonna start off with one cup each. And then for one cup of the vinegar and water, we're gonna do two thirds, cup, two -thirds tablespoon of the salt. This is also the point where you're gonna wanna add your seasonings. For me, that's just gonna be the crushed chili peppers. Now I don't want a lot in there because I don't like a lot of heat. And then as far as my garlic, I'm gonna just put these in the jars at the same time that I add the kelp. We are gonna be boiling that mixture, but first, it's really important that everything is sterilized. So in a much larger pan here, we're gonna put just a skiff of water. We're gonna put that on to boil and we're gonna put our jars in there upside down. And that's gonna soften the rubber on the lid as well as sterilize the jar. While I'm waiting for this pot to boil, I did put the pickling juice on as well to heat up. And what you wanna do is heat this up until everything's dissolved into the water and just gets to a boil and then immediately take it off the heat. I'm gonna put one garlic in the bottom of each of these. There we go. Now my pickling juice is ready to go here. So quite simply, all you do is just fill it up till all the vegetable is covered and seal it up. There you have it. This is just one jar of pickled kelp. I have a whole bunch more of these to do today, but that's the process and you can do that with pretty much any vegetable. Feel free to mix it up, put in the spices you want. You can also do cinnamon, brown sugar if you like something a little bit sweeter. Of course, pickling anything, the longer you leave it, the better it's gonna get. So we're gonna try this tomorrow and wait for the review. Okay. Full disclosure, it's been about a week since I made the kelp and everybody recommends that I leave this for about six weeks because it's supposed to taste pretty ocean-y if you don't leave it. Some of them I actually ended up putting onion is in as well and this one has a lot of chili so I'm excited to see how hot they are. Uh, I'll definitely be s still giving a review on the taste of this later on in the channel but if you guys liked the Moho cooking show please let me know because it's something that I've been re getting requests for, but it's something I've never done before. So maybe you like it, maybe you don't. Let me know. And thanks for watching.